Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the following component is missing or error with the following component on Valorant. So now all we need to do is to open first our Riot Games client so we can run our Valorant game. So basically either you can go to your file explorer or you can just go and search for Riot Games and it will take you to the Riot client. So let's search for it. So basically you need just to go to your local C desk or local D, depends where you have been installed your Riot client and then search for uh, the games, in my case I have it here in this uh, here and the Riot games and then just go for the Riot client and then you can open your Riot games client and now we will just wait to open and then you will need just to sign in with your credentials and now all you need to do now is to open your Valorant game and then follow these simple steps. So basically this error will occur when there is a problem with some components or main components for your Valorant launch. So basically we will need just to check for uh, some uh, Windows updates and it is mainly it will be the DirectX runtime. So basically the first thing to do is to go to your Windows menu and search for any updates. So click on check for updates and basically it will uh, the Windows will start checking for updates automatically. So as you can see for in my case I also have some updates so you will need just to click on restart now after having your uh, updates that will be downloaded and then uh, reboot your PC and you will have your problem that will be fixed and if the problem still persists all you will need to do now is to download your DirectX runtime manually so you will need just to go to your web browser and search for DirectX runtime and then you will need just to go to the Microsoft's official website and basically you will need just to click on it and after that it will take us to this page now you will need just to click on download and you will have your DirectX that will be downloaded and then you will need uh, just uh, to search for it and you will have it here you click on download after that you will need just to start installing it manually as any other uh, software and you will have your problem that will be fixed so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time